You know, while Tony, since you've sat down and actually had a talk about music, yeah. let's talk about the recent projects that you've been on and what's been happening with you right. like, musically, uh, development wise, if you want to show. Yeah, the last few years have been um, so just up and down, I think a little bit now. It's, been, it's only the last few months everything's sort of coming together. Um, as you know, it took a couple of years off, didn't I? And, yeah. Uh, I wasn't playing and um, personal stuff and that going on and, and I came back and I, I picked a guitar I picked a guitar for ages man. Yeah. So uh, I picked a guitar and started writing a couple of songs. And, um, I just kind of felt the love for it again, it was it was great and I had like five tunes. I was like, what should I do with these? Do you know what I mean? And it was uh, it was me mate Steve who like I'd run everything by. Like yeah. um, He's just like, he's just banging into music, do you know what I mean? And he, and he gave me like a dead honest opinion. He said, let's go and do some some open mics, do you know what I mean? Let's just go for fun type of thing. And so that's what I did. I just I used to go out once a week and just play these songs. And and, um, and I got a really good vibe from them, and it was boss. Oh, so yeah. it was, uh, it sort of came from that. It just like reignited me love for music yeah. again, do you know what I mean? And, um, and yeah, I bumped into a few people who liked the songs and then, that's when I bumped into the, into the lads from Clean Music who gave me this opportunity to do this album. Um, so that's what I've been doing for the last like, year and a half, is like writing. Um, and then I've been recording the album for the last, sort of on and off for the last what, six months. So man, when you mentioned Clean came to you and gave you this opportunity to record an album, is that something that were you waiting for this opportunity? No, were you no, searching no, for it? I didn't even. It, what, it, the difference this time around was because I did. I, I had no expectations. I wasn't doing it for any other reason. But I just wanted to play music and enjoy playing music again. It wasn't. I had no kind of. When I was younger, I had this like mad ambition that I wanted to be this mad rock star, and it was just writing songs about all like material things and things outside me. And, um, and, and it wasn't a surprise that nothing happened. Because. You know yeah. <laughs> Do you reflect um, back I on think, that now and do you see yeah, a lot different? I, 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 I think no one, like, not, well, no one does no one believe me. Oh. Start, just, like, <laughs> because I didn't believe myself, do you know what I mean? Um, but I kind of had to, I suppose I had to go through all that to kind of write the stuff I'm writing now, do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, so I had no expectations and it was sound there, you know, I come, um, came up to me and my life, you know, who are you? Because I've been off the scene for you know, like a few years. and. Um, yeah, I'd done a few gigs for them, and then after a the few gigs, and they seemed happy, and then I got phone. I'd done, a, I'd done a night for complete, weirdly enough, I'm playing the same night on, on Saturday. It's like a songwriter's circle. And it was a year ago, um, and I was playing, I played that night for them, um, and I got a phone call on the way home. So that was the thing about doing an album, and I was like, This is that simple. Is it? That's pretty much what, yeah, yeah. I got a, well, I originally I got a text and then I got a, I got a phone call. Um, there was a couple of people in the, in the crowd, um, Sean and Chris, Laura, who, who, who were lovely people who, who wanted to be involved in a music project and they were they're just massive uh, music fans and he spoke to, to Steve who was the one with the label and, and he'd seen me and I think they'd had a conversation or something that was like, if anyone comes around that you like, well, you know, um, then let me know and then if we can work it out and we can do a project with this person yeah. and sound and I, I was lucky enough that I was that person, do you know what I mean? And, um, oh, yeah, so that's what that, that's what it's, it's been like, it's been, it's been cool. Yeah. Man, you're stepping away from the music for so long, like you said, you've like, slowly like, reintroduced yourself back onto the music scene. With that, did you see a change in the way artists are now, even musically, like the sound, the things they The sound changes, the sound changes, like I, I just always, I'm showing my age now, but like, like sort of the indie boom of like when yeah, I was like 18, you were all there brother, you were all there. So I think my mindset was was like it was still like that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? When I, when I come back and it's not, um, I'm amazed at what young musicians are doing at the minute. Amazed what people can do in the home. Um, 
and how um, far sort of how just how far it's come, do you know what I mean? But I can just just independently and how like anyone can sort of make music themselves. I, I love that. Um, I love the passion. I can see the passion for what it is now. Um, we were in some mad whirlwind uh, when we were in bands when we were younger. Um, it wasn't it wasn't really like important. So I don't think the music. It was just it was about going out. There was loads of drugs. Yeah, yeah, done, man. Basically, that's that's what's happening. Seen, wasn't it? Well, um, I can imagine. So I'm seeing it from all different different sides now. I'm seeing people working a hell, a hell of a lot harder than than I remember any anyone working. But maybe I was just in a haze then. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but there's yeah. See, I do see a difference. Um, and, the, and social media wasn't the way it is now. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's had a massive influence. It's crazy impact on music. So, um, like we're lucky, I think, yeah. now that we can, we can access so much. Do you know what I mean? Um, and like my musical sort of taste is expand now. Like, it is, man, I've spoken to you plenty of times about yeah. musical stars. You think, tell me a lot. Did a lot of stars that I get more of you. I think. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> I um, <laughs> I come. Cause I, just, I grew up listening to like sort of the Beatles and um, like I'm, I'm at the house always filled with like my mum's stuff so it was like beautiful South and crowded out and all that stuff. and then my nan's stuff was like Sam Cooke oh, and, yeah. and all the Motown stuff and that so that they had all that influence and stuff and then um, loads of YouTube got played in the house so it was all so, and then in the 90s thing happened so it was, it was yeah, massive. Like your own bit. Yeah, so the guitar it's stuff happened and that. But it's like lately it's I think working with, you know, like Tom Benson who's who's an amazing guitarist and, and, and engineer and stuff like that. He, so is this the team or the people who you collaborate yeah, with now? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a really good mate. He was, he was, the, he was actually the bass player in, in, in a band when he was 17. We got him in and he's, he's gone on to um, to sort of to the sound for like all big bands and he's, do, he's doing really well for himself now and, he, and he's like my... Okay, Points me in the right direction sometimes, okay. you know what I mean? And he, he, he sends me all kinds of music, so we're listening to, to jazz one minute and um, sort of crazy heavy beats the next. And, and it was, I think for me, it a lot changed when I heard that, that Barney V, 22 a million album. Yeah. Um, I, I always remember where I was when I, I, was, I was coming out to my mate's house, the sun was shining. Um, and, I, and I, I'd seen it, I just thought, well, I'll listen to this and put it on my headphones and the first song, the first song, you know, you've had that experience, you know what I mean, the first song comes along and, and everything goes into colour, like it was like a 3D and I, I was going to get the bus on and I never walked, I walked all the way home, it was like an hour and a half walk uh, and it was hearing the different sounds and the way he was, he, he was sort of mixing the, the you know, vintage sounds with, with new stuff and, I love that, and, it, and, and that reignited everything for me. Then it was like, ah, what can I do? Do you know what I mean? What the, 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 the possibilities that I got me endless here? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you've always been talent, like musician, you know, like your musicianship. Like, there's a number of instruments I've seen you play. Yeah, yeah, play, 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 um, play a few. Yeah, I'm probably looking to play more. I want, I, it's it's the saxophone, you know, and all like it's not cool. Apparently, it's not cool to play the saxophone, but it fucking is. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I love, I'd love to do that. Um, I because I got a piano. Like it was like a year and a half ago, and I just taught myself. Yeah. Um, it was the amazing thing with YouTube we've got now, where you can just teach yourself. And so I was like, this, if I can do it with this, then well, that's gonna do it with you. Know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, saxophone's the next thing in my life. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So be prepared to hear a bit of sax on the album. Oh man. Yeah. So Brian, if you talk about the album now, you're currently developing the album or finishing the album off. Mm. What has it been like for you as in getting back into the studio? What did, when you said something's ignited back in you, what is it that you're looking to offer now? What is it, what is it man? I think the experiences I had in the studio before were, were just doing them, paying a load of money for starters, going into the studio for a couple of days and getting a kind of demo that you're not really happy with. Um, so this time I had it was like, no, I need comfortable environments and I'm going to try as many things as I can. And lucky enough, you know, we, we set up a little bit of a, a sort of studio in town and, we, and I got that opportunity to, uh, where there was no time to go, you know what I mean? We could go in when you liked and uh, use whatever type of instruments we wanted. And, I kind of found a sound through that, do you know what I mean, and, yeah. a, and, a, and a freedom through that uh, type of thing. And I figured out where I wanted to where I played with loads of different musicians, and I started to realise like, oh no, okay, well, maybe I can do this, maybe I can play those those instruments, maybe I can. It's coming from my my vision, do you know what I mean. So it's moved on to that, and I'm working with with a producer now, um, and it's just like just me and him, and we collaborate together, and it's all it, it, 
it's, it's lovely to be honest with you, it's all coming from me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm playing my kind of everything on it, having the drums, basically. Um, and it's, it's, an, it's a new experience, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not, how do I explain this? It's not like within a time scale and it's not regimented, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. like, it's just free flowing type of thing, um, which is great. So, Do you feel like now, like artists who maybe are releasing EP to or developing albums independently, have you got more creativity over the end product? Yeah, because fully. fully. I got that was the thing. That was the thing that the label said. It's independent. It's yours. It's not. It's your album. Which mm -hmm. would, the, the great thing just do it for the music. You know what I mean? And um, it was refreshing. So yeah, it was like you know, you and we we just want you to be proud of this. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of like, like uh, yeah, cool. I'll 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 do what I like then. <laughs> so, yeah. so if you compare that to maybe five or ten years ago when you've been in a studio and worked with, like, yeah, it just, was it? I just didn't think they were not, not not incest, not really incested. I mean, I, it's only with, with people I've worked with. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I've been lucky enough to work with the people. Maybe other people have been lucky enough to work with, and maybe this is just my time to work with people. I, I, it's it kind of it, it's all fitting together now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, I think when you're kind of in a better, in a good place and in a better place, um, and you start doing it for the right reasons, then everything kind of kind of comes together. Do you know what I mean? That's what's happening now. Um, I, won't, I wouldn't blame anyone from back in the day or anything. I think um, that was a lot to do with um, my attitude than, than anyone else's. Do you know what I mean? You've grown, man. You've grown a hell of a lot. And I had to think so. Does that influence as well the songwriting? Yeah. Is the if you maybe look back at maybe past songs or even. I don't know, maybe tracks that you've written, written recently and you've seen the difference in you, maybe the mindset that you were in. Yeah, um, just, you know, right from experience, well I do anyway, right from experience. And, um, the, the difference now is that I write honestly. Um, I never wanted to go on stage and ever play anything again. That was, that I didn't really, really need, do you know what I mean? Um, and that's, that's difficult, you know, that, it's scary that sometimes to, to sort of bear your soul, um, but the feeling that I get from that is, is priceless. Do you know what I mean? So the, that's the difference now. I think I write absolutely honestly from my heart, um, and not observationally, and not from outside, um, not for a particular reason to impress or um, to make this sound quirky or to make this sound cool. I'll write for me, um, and then I, I, and by doing that, like, hopefully um, the audience sees that, and then it's. They like it too, do you know what I mean? Is that a process in itself? Like when you're yeah, you know, delving into yeah, yourself I mean, like that, like, that take time, just that. How uh, does it unravel, man? Does it, I think just doing work on myself generally anyway, um, to sort of stay okay, stay happy, and um, I kind of have to look at, at myself and my life, where I've been, and, what, and that, that comes across in the music. It is it is a process. I feel like the, the, the more I write now, the the more, uh, more I feel the songs. What's an interesting thing I think actually is that I'll write something and then like six months later, when I may have been playing for a little bit longer, is that the songs mean something different. Um, they become more meaningful, but they mean something different to me than they, than they meant at, at the time. It's like the songs grow yeah. within me, if, if that makes any no, sense. No. So the more, when they perform, they, uh, the performances grow with the, with the music, um, which, I, which I love. Because sometimes I can write something and I'll, I don't know, I'm not, not fussed on that. Um, and then I'll listen to it, you know, three, four, five, six months later, and I'll go, wow, and it'll, and it'll hit home, and it'll, 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 it'll be something current that's happening to me at that moment in time, do you know what I mean? That's yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's a weird, it's a weird feeling. Um, and I, I think I'm like, I don't know what other musicians are like, but like, I, I love, I love, love my songs, do you know what I mean? I, I really, really love them, I'm not, um, not one of them who goes, oh, you know, I'm not proud of that or whatever. Like the stuff I'm doing at the minute and first time in my life, I'm really, really proud. Of it. I've known you for like, I've known you for years now, but I've always I've seen that of, of late how uh, much like conviction you have. <laughs> how, much, how much like conviction that you have in the songs you're writing now, like self belief, man. Right. Yeah, massive. I've noticed that in you. It's a difference. I suppose it's a difference. You go through your twenties. Everyone goes through like a. Just their own shit, I suppose, do you know what I mean? Nobody, I, I don't believe anyone's pain is worse than anybody else's, it's just my own, yeah. my own pain. Um, but there was a long, long time I never believed in myself. Um, 
I didn't feel enough and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, there's a change in the music now because of the way, just the way I feel now. Do you know what I mean? I feel, um, and, that, and the music's helping okay. me with that. It's therapeutic. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you talk about like, the new album yeah. that you're working on now. What was the first song? That's it was the, it's it, not the first song maybe you've got on the album, but what was it was, the first It was a song called Mark. It's a. It was a realization for me, I think, where that I wasn't on my own. Uh, yeah, it was like a. Yeah, for a long time, I just felt, felt like I was on my own. And a lot, I know, you know a lot of people do, and I'm lucky enough to have found sort of. Sort of a way that, that I don't have to feel like that anymore, do you know what I mean? And, uh, and I wrote a song about feeling like that, and it just. It, 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 the, every song after that grew from that song, it was like the sort of root of the yeah, like the root of the album, do you know what I mean? And the, the, the songs blossomed from that tune. Um, it's funny actually because me, the, the, like, me mates, they, they really like that song and I wouldn't play it for ages. I go out to the miserable, do you know what I mean? Um, I loved it, do you know what I mean? But I thought that the, the audience would yeah, love it. And then as I started to play it, it was a, it become a little bit of a favourite song. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to play now. It's mad when you think of a song and you were just saying then it may be something that you find a struggle, but the audience interpretation is something that which that's what I've been surprised. Song. That's what I've been surprised about. Um, I, I've still got all that stuff as much as I believe myself loads of all that. I've still got all that stuff that says no, no, it's not good enough. And, yeah. Um, that keeps in seeing my mad thinking every now and again. Um, but I'm, I've just been really surprised by the. Uh, by, by everyone's reaction um, yeah. and, and the comments afterwards and it was like you know I had a, a lad say to me you know he was going through a bit of a bad time and he listened to a couple of these tracks on holiday and it was uh, it got him through through the holiday and it was you know he got away to sort of get away from things and wow, um, and that it, it, it's that like an aid for it, it's that stuff it? for me it's the, you know regardless of what happens if, it, if, if you can get them moments with people if they were thanking you for the, for the music it's Nothing better. So that's what I. If I ever met anyone who who uh, who done that for me, that's what I. That's all I want to say. It's like, thanks for the tune, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Thanks for the tune. Oh thanks for getting me through. You know. Sometimes we need that, man. We need that. We, we probably all have that song that we go to or album or it, it, it puts you in a state where you just feel more comfortable in your own skin and yeah. you're able to so just many. deal with so much going on yeah. in your life. There's so, so many albums that, that I did. I, what, what evoked different emotions for you, do you know what I mean? Um, is, is that probably something which you're hoping that the audience will receive from this album? Yeah, When you give it to them, maybe you, you want to put them in that state? That's you the point. Uh, hopefully hopefully there's, me there's messages in there, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because that's naturally that should happen, I think. In music, and yeah, just for people to enjoy it, yeah. um, to have a little little moment of the life, you know what I mean? Instead of buying, going and buying two coffees. For like, oh yeah, you're saying this. Yeah, go like two coffees, you can get an EP. Yeah. Go and eat, go and buy an EP, <laughs> and it'll, you know, it could change everything for you. Or, yeah. or, or you give you a, a nice moment, you know what I mean? Um, that's the difference. Talk about the track that you sent me a few days ago. Because okay. when you sent this to me, <laughs> you made this out like. It was just some, just little thing. Just have a little listen to this, man, when you get a chance. Like, really chilled. Like, you probably listen to it once <laughs> in your day. Man, I put the it on. Uh, and for the next, I'm not even joking, maybe the next hour and a half, I had to play it again. I was in the midst of sending an email. And then as soon as I heard the beginning, I was like, wait there. Wait there, man. What are you trying to do to me? That wasn't my intention, yeah. you know. I didn't mean. I just... No, no, no. No, well, there's maybe, prepared, you know what I'm like, like okay. there's, a, there's a part of me that probably wants us to do well, too. I did have to sit down and really pay attention, man, and listen to it. And then what I got from it, my personally, it was like, it was like a, you were telling me a tale, like mm. a small, like a story or something that, a yeah. part of your life and how things have changed now and you're reflecting and yeah. so many, man, so many things I was getting from that song. but. Man, it was, it was beautiful, it was powerful. What I love about powerful. that, it was written in five minutes. So, it oh, was, shit. yeah. And it was written in mind of somebody close to me. And um, But then when you listen back to, the, when I listened back to it then, it was it was like, wow, that's so much about me than the other person, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was all coming from, and obviously just with that person in mind, but yeah. Um, 
Because it was a, it was a song that I, I wrote and left for a while, um, and then we got when we got into the studio, I was like, I'm gonna I'll do this one, and then as the song kind of we we built it, 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 it I didn't it become epic. Um, everything started to sta to stand out. Um, I got really excited um, about half an hour into the track. Like I just I was saying to Colin, I was like, fucking hell, something else. This, you know what I mean? And, um, I'm really really proud of that track. It's got like a. Tell me the title you never told me. Oh, you can always come home. It's called, you can always come yeah, home. It's a. So it's a song. Basically, is it? The, there's a kind of message in it that's like, don't do that stuff. I know what it's like. To go and do that stuff, it's bananas. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's a there's a there's a fucking way out type of thing. Yeah. And it's just a little it's just a little nod to to like to this person you're close to mm. to say you don't you can always uh, I'm 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 always here you know yeah. if you need to talk type of thing. Do they know? They the, know yeah, they know. They know. They know. Because there are a few lines in there. I love the beginning when you're talking about it's just like a reference to you being 21. You know it all. Yeah, you know it all. No, yeah. Like, I, I just <laughs> wanted to be with maybe a 21 mate. I don't think I know it all, but as soon as I heard that, yeah. I went, ah, that was such a pity, man. It's <laughs> mad, I, I, yeah. Well, and what were, we, what were we up to at 21, do you know what I mean? Yeah, we were up to all kinds. But there was, there was, there was a time I remember thinking, this is, yeah, I'm onto it now. Like, yeah. I, know, I know exactly how this world works, and I'm like, I'm 31 now, and I still don't. <laughs> I still haven't got a clue. Um, at least humble enough to say that. But yeah, it, it just takes it just takes you right back to where you're making all them silly mistakes, and but all for the all for the you know the reason of getting you to where you suppose you are now. Yeah. It is yeah. a song that really grows. It's it That's builds the, in a way where you I'm almost cheering you on like well, the underdog. I'm working with a producer who who, uh, who who loves sort of Bond themes and like um, and film scores and stuff like that. So it's film it's got like a. It's got a bit of that influence in it because he's yeah. like and, and cinematic my, like yeah. feel to it. So all the soul my songs kind of build anyway to a big crescendo. I didn't really know that that happened until I kind of got into the studio and worked and I was like, oh, these all these are all quite big. Yeah. It's all written on an acoustic guitar, do you know what I mean? So they stand up there anyway. Um, but yeah, so you've got this this mad uh, film vibe to them, I think, yeah. um, which I love, which is another thing that wasn't expected. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm loving about this process. It's like I'm, I, there's no boundaries really with me. I'm like, I'll just go anywhere with it. Yeah, go and anywhere. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, you that's where they got so we're next Bond team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could be, man. Yeah. You know. Look at that, mate. Yeah, but it's it. Yeah, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it at the minute. Mm -hmm. um, I'm loving gigging again. That's 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 the new thing. Is because um, I've been off gigging for a while. Um, I'm back gigging, doing a couple of gigs at the weekend. And, I'm loving it, loving it again. I'm loving being back on stage and um, doing. We're kind of doing it acoustic at the moment. Me and a, a fantastic singer called uh, Jessica West um, is doing back on vocals with me. So it's just adding a little bit more. And then as as, as it goes along, we'll add more musicians and it'll build and build and build. And then obviously, when the album comes out, it'll be, it'll be ready to rock and roll. Then, but uh, it's nice. It's nice doing it. Man. It's good. But is the thing, man, you most probably enjoy about. Like being on stage and you've probably been asked this stuff. There's a couple done, of things. Uh, there's the, the, now the, the, talking about the Tony now. Yeah, you know? there's a couple of things. I think there's the there's the escapism, and um, because that's what I've kind of always done. I've always tried to find maybe unhealthy ways of escaping, and um, this is a healthy way of doing it, um, and I can go wherever I like. Um, but it's shared in the moments with um, with the cars. It's the best part. It's, it's it's what you're there for. You're not playing on your own. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's when new people hear the songs and, and you get you see that nod. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That tap of the foot and then the, the little nice one. Um, How you called it for me when you said give him back? Give him back, yeah. Me give him back. Yeah. Like you write a song, even though it maybe is personal and about whatever you've experienced, you do say to me it's about giving back. Yeah, definitely about, about giving back. Well, it's something that was given so freely to me, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, music's there for everybody to, to, listen, to be able to listen to and for it to feel. And, um, I, if, I have an, if I have the ability to be able to write songs and have the people to feel that, then it'd be a, it'd be a, that's one thing I've learned, it'd be an absolute crime for me not to do that. Do you know what I mean? To have a have a talent, because like, you know, I'm not right at what I do. Do you know what I mean? And 
Um, it'll be it'll be a tough it's obviously for me to not do that and and, and for it to touch one person um you know, even more, maybe yeah to touch loads <laughs> <laughs> that's what we want <laughs> yeah. no man yeah that's it man you're just doing I think you'll probably be in more yourself now than ever yeah yeah and that's nice. probably why the music being so well received yeah. by the audience and you're happy with the end product man it's it's it was, it was all about <coughs> no expectation that's that's the thing that i keep is the love love of it and not expecting anything from it do you know what i mean the bit, I, I get a love from writing it love from recording it love from playing it and then um, whatever comes with that great do you know what i mean um that's out of my hands that's in god's hands that's what i mean um, that's the, the, the best place. I'm a, a happy guy. I'm happy that Liverpool won the Champions League, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she did to bring that cup home. Yes, the boys! <laughs> I'm the worst fan in the world, man. Yeah. I've got no, I've got no. <laughs> yeah, great. You know what, man? You might know Tony. Pleasure. Ah, man, as always, brother. Thanks, Thanks man. Cheers, Thanks, man. Yes. Thank <laughs> you.